Hey guys, welcome to the two types of happiness. What are the two types of happiness? Well, the two types of happiness are outlined by self-realization and self-actualization. So the path or the way of self-realization allows you to achieve a sense of inner peace, a sense of transcendence, a transcendent type of peace, meaning that it's the peace that never leaves. So it becomes completely reliable. The way of self-actualization teaches you the happiness type of joy, of empowerment, of excitement, of passion. And so seemingly, these two are two different types of happiness. They're two separate types of happiness. But they're not actually separate. They're just like different facets of the same diamond. They're the different, the different exit points of, of joy, of happiness itself, of presence itself, of existence itself. So there's many facets of happiness that we could label, but roughly we could say there's two quote-unquote sides to the idea of happiness. One being peace, the other being joy or excitement. And in this course, Empowerment One, we'll dive very deeply into the idea of joy, into the idea of excitement, into the idea of inspiration, tapping into your truly creative inspirational source and having that be your source of joy, your source of happiness. So the other courses, Enlightenment 1 through Infinity 2, will allow you to get to a really profound state of peace and contentment, which has the benefit of allowing you to not get lost in the idea of excitement in a way that feels like it's trapping you back into the sense of, oh, I am a separate, lacking individual. So if you have at the basis of your understanding of self at least some kind of sense of the stability of presence energy, the stability of presence consciousness, the stability of awareness, or the infinity of infinity, then that takes away the neediness to express yourself in any way, not the relevance. It will always be relevant for you to express yourself in the unique way that you exist and desire to exist. But it will take away the need for experiences to appear in a certain way because we show you that appearances are simply appearing. They're appearing in and out of awareness. They're appearing and disappearing. And so to attach or latch your well-being, your, latch your happiness, your joy onto the coming and going appearances of life is not necessarily a smart move, as most of us know, because this creates that um, this, this goose hunt for happiness, for excitement in the things that appear. So to have presence as a basis is extremely helpful, I must say. However, if hypothetically you really, really nail, meaning you really, really understand and grok the principles of the empowerment teaching, then the presence side of things, the stability awareness side of things will very naturally become a part of your understanding of self. So one could ask themselves, why would I want to even be interested in the joy side if what I have is already realized peace? If I'm happy with myself no matter what happens, then what is the purpose or what is the relevance for me to explore all these intricate details of how creation works, what it's truly like to be human and how I can express myself more fully? Why would I be interested in that if what I have at the core of my being is already at peace? relevance, purpose. This is simply the way creation is set up. In other words, it is unhealthy, in my experience, it is unhealthy for people to only choose peas. This may sound a little silly, this may sound a little weird, but I have seen people choose only peas, only peas, only peas, and I've seen them in a sense not be happy or not be completely happy, not be as ecstatic as they could be, not be as attuned to their true source as they could be. Even though the peace, in a sense, is coming from source, their individualized source, their individual higher selves I am, in a sense, wants to express creation in a certain way. It wants to express itself through the individual that you have created yourself to be. So there is purpose to your life. There's purpose to you existing. There is value, there's worthiness to you being a full-fledged, expressionate, vehicle 
for infinity to get to know itself through and express its infinite possibilities through. So you see, if we forsaken this for the sake of being at peace, then isn't that kind of selfish? Isn't that kind of non-peaceful, non-loving? Isn't that kind of needy? To only stick to peace when all of creation wants us to burst with joy like a volcano, with unique expression, then isn't it kind of fear-based to say, well, I just want to maintain my peace and I'm not interested in following my joy, discovering my passion, my theme, and getting a clear understanding of how creation operates through this individual expression of itself. I say it is a little fear-based. And so in order to have this complete happiness, we need to master those two types of happiness and see that they're an inseparable, joyful ride of peaceful, never-ending existence expressing itself in all these juicy, extremely potent ways expressing infinity in a way it has never before expressed itself. Now that's where things start to come really, really alive. Trust me, because I have been in a sense of peace junkie in the past. I have been just resting peacefully. And it's fun, it's great, it's even to an extent very empowering in some ways, to a certain degree, resting as peace, resting as presence, resting as awareness, just being at peace with whatever comes and goes not caring about whatever comes and goes. It can be very empowering, especially if it's new to you. However, at a certain point, I started to grow tired of that. It started to feel heavy. It started to feel contrived. It started to feel unnatural. It started to feel unspontaneous. It started to feel like suppression. What at first felt like happiness and joy and true expression of who I was, true discovery of my true nature, true self-realization, suddenly started to feel like a subtle form, a very sophisticated form of suppression. And when I realized that, I realized that true humility is not just to be at peace with whatever comes and goes. True humility is to also listen to that impulse that creation wants to move through you in a particular way. And to embrace that duty, to embrace that honor, to embrace that service. Because really when you embrace your service, your, your duty, your honor of expressing infinity in a specific way that is unique to you, and making the best of that and clarifying your energy field to the point where it becomes this pristine crystalline expression of infinity. That type of care is actually humility. Humility. And there is an even greater peace knowing that you are doing what you want to be doing, what you're quote unquote supposed to be doing. What is really meant for you to really embrace that and embody that and not just deny that for the sake of thinking that peace is over here whereas joy and passion and inspiration are very prone to suffering. Because essentially speaking, they are not that prone to suffering. It's only because we've included the idea that lack can exist. But we'll address that in a later lesson. For now, what you need to know is that there's two types of happiness. One is the peace side, the peace kind. It's all one diamond, it's all one happiness, it's all one being, it's one clarity, it's one self-realization. However, there is the side of peace. There's the expression of choosing peace, choosing to not care about whatever appears. And there's the side of caring about what appears. However, without the idea that something can be lacking. This is crucial. Again, if you would get this side alone, the empowerment side, and you would really understand that there is no lack, then the peace side is naturally mixed in. It's naturally blended. And you don't need to necessarily focus as much on it. I'm not saying you should not follow the other courses because honestly, they are very helpful and they do teach you subtleties that the empowerment teaching simply does not address because it's not that relevant from its angle. So I do overall recommend that if you have the time and you do resonate with it, that you do go through these courses at your own good time when it excites you. However, hypothetically speaking and experientially speaking, if one would completely understand that there is no lack in existence anywhere and that one simply starts to activate oneself what happens is that the peace that is there anyway because your frequency raises because your clarity rises the peace that is there anyway becomes a very natural almost unspoken part of your being whereas in self-realization we really focus down on it we turn it into a science which is beautiful it's a great thing it's a great it's a great service to do that for ourselves however to 
the one to the to the adept that just masters the idea of empowerment if they really actually genuinely balance themselves and master it to a great extent then the peace side will become a very very natural part a natural blending with their joy with their expression of self so for now just realize there's two types of happiness there is the peace and there is the joy or the passion or the excitement and both are ultimately part of the same one being that you are and both deserve your attention when it resonates, when it feels relevant for you. And both deserve to be explored so that they can work in harmony together as the one being that they are. And then your happiness is complete. You're a holistic creature. You are as God created its children to be, in a sense. As the Creator created creation to be and all of its I am expressions to be. That's what you become. You become clear, clarified, crystal clear, crystal clear, crystal, super, free, uh, joyful, uh, peaceful, all these things, all these core qualities of creation become yours. They become yours. They become yours. They already are yours. But you become this exuding, overwhelming expression of that clarity. And so this is what you want for yourself. Trust me, this is what everyone wants for themselves. But find out. And this course will help you find out. And this lesson simply is here to introduce you to the idea that you can have peace as well as joy blended together.